Kenali VVU so pemilik fashion beli dengan lebih mesra. Mengorak langkah ke alam perniagaan pada usia muda, berbekalkan kecekalan dan dedikasi. VV belajar untuk berdiri di atas kaki sendiri. Penat lelahnya berhasil apabila perniagaan yang diusahakan dengan keringatnya kini menjadi empire fashion yang disegani. Okay, so my sister's going to give birth tonight. Oh. Yeah, I want to surprise her. She really wants this lobster noodle thing. Can you help me call Pits and Pines and order takeaway for for my sister? Memang meriah jadual kehidupan Vivi Yusuf. Dalam kesibukan nak sambut anak saudara baru, nak pilih tema raya untuk fashion bele, sempat juga panjangkan langkah hingga ke Brunei demi menyebarkan lagi sayap perniagaannya. Vivi juga ke Jakarta untuk mengukuhkan lagi strategi pemasaran di sana. Sama-sama kita ikuti rentak kehidupan Vivi yang cukup rancak dan bertenaga. Sekarang ini, uh, my sister's in the hospital dah, dah check in. Um, so sekarang I nak get her favourite food. Dia dah menyidam sangat nak makan lobster noodles sebelum dia beranak. So that's why here I'm waiting for my takeaway. Time-time ni lah, semua orang nak beranak. So, mula Haji beranak. My sister pula going too soon. Petah cakap dia, tolonglah beranak masa saya dekat KL. Sebab saya banyak kerja. It was a busy period for me. So, saya cakap dengan my sister, Alon, tolong. Like, don't give birth without me. So, dia selalu update saya every day. So, saya tanya, are you okay today? You rasa sakit tak apa-apa? Bagi tahu saya tahu. She's always telling me kalau ada update. Hari ini, okay tak? Okay tak? I already said thank you. Come here, ha. I can't move. No, 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 no. I need to move it to me. I only have a couple more days for this week. Hmm. Okay. Alamak, tak muat. That's so me. Pick it up. I think you can lift it up, right? Lift it up. Oh, you can? Oh, fun. Did you die? That's why I married him. Right. So smart. My sister ni jenis orang yang periang tau. She's very chill. If you're down, dia buat lawak semua. She macam the place where I relax. Selalu calm me down. She's like my guardian angel. She tu tau. Dia selalu jaga I. And she always tell me to slow down when she dah risau. So that's my sister lah. Are you nervous? No, I don't have anything, no feelings yet right now. I think when the pains are going to start, then I'll be crying out loud and I can bend still. Before that, I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'm going to break his hand. Okay, so I'm going to visit my sister in the hospital. Esok mungkin dia beranak, but tengoklah dia. So happy, nak keluar tengok movie malam ni, merepek. Yeah, so insyaAllah, hopefully doakan dia everything will be okay. And tomorrow, I'll have a baby me. So, uh, kita orang dah decide, kita orang nak go uh, untuk team tahun ni, kita orang. From the first session, Vivi tak happy sangat with some of the ideas. So, dia reject lah sikit sini, sikit sana. Oh, what do you mean team? Uh, Tim tu yeah, macam uh, konsep kita lah. Macam kita punya gambar, kita punya... Merchandise. Merchandise, Loko, kita punya emblem semua. Marketing team ni we work closely with the graphics design team. Graphic design team headed by Dada and then of course marketing headed by Vindi. This time, I bagi peluang dekat Farid dengan Kerry bercakap. For konsep, I suruh Farid present sebab so far dia tak pernah approach client ke ataupun buat presentation. This year, we have Dupont. Yay! Federal Highway, the most busy street. Yeah. And this is what they did. I'm, I'm impressed. Depan belakang kan? Depan belakang, yeah. yes. Ni mock up lah. Tapi tu location yang betul lah di kat uh, Federal. Ni? Yeah. 
sebelah KWSP. I sebagai ketua, I tak cakap dengan Vindi sahaja. I want to talk to everyone. So I tanya, okay, you what's your idea? What's your idea? Okay, you talk. You know, because I nak dia orang pun confident juga belajar untuk nak present kat orang macam mana, nak present kat bos macam mana. I don't just talk to the head. I want to talk to everyone. Yeah. I nak picnic kat situ itu. It's very dangerous. Let's <laughs> <laughs> suggest no. I nak tolong naik letakkan sekali. So you okay dengan billboard? I'm okay. Not this picture, right? Okay. I nak tengok gambar tu lah. For now, I cannot see. Okay. Semua group together and they orang tunjuk I apa team this year. Macam they orang nak buat floral team this year. So I macam floral, you know, it's pretty. Tapi bila you dah campur dengan macam-macam designer punya designs, it might be a bit messy. Tadi you tanya pasal complicated flowers and complicated oh. flowers. It, does, it didn't really actually look that bad. Yeah. Okay. But if you don't like, we we don't do as much with that lah. Yang ni cantik sebab it's like editorial picture. Kita nak jual baju. Kita orang nak editorial let... sikit lah. You tak editorial, you jual baju. So kalau you jual baju, the baju has to stand out. We, okay. Yeah. Okay, noted. All of us memang nervous gila. You know how Vivi is like, she tak suka, she don't care how tight is the deadline, she wants it that way and you make it happen. I bagi tahu dia orang maybe kita boleh tone down sikit the floral to not everywhere. I tak suka yang ni, yang ni macam budak-budak. Carry you ni. Belum explain. <laughs> oh sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. What is this? <laughs> kita buat few apa? Design uh, dalam AV kita dah boot. Most of them choose yang tiga ni. You tanya siapa? The whole office. They like that one, the three. So like, just give you guys there. Remember, we showed you, and then you don't like, and then we redo. And this is like the second batch. Then like, we created like three of it. Oh, so nanti they boleh jadi macam collectors items. So like, you'll buy some more to to get the next packaging. Yes. Okay. So because you should do a campaign around it. If you have all three packaging, like insta it and Instagram it. Sabah sis, sabah. Okay. Sabah sis, sabah sis. Carrie pun nervous juga, tapi Acha kata apa because. Practice lah. So tadi kita orang try practice dulu sebelum baby datang and then uh, I cakap juga lah macam nak cakap semua. They did a good job. Diorang dah nak start kerja. I have to make my decision there and then. From now, diorang dah boleh start campaign uh, raya. So kalau I delay-delay, tak sure this, tak sure that, my team is affected. So I need to be strong and firm. Uh, yes and no, find more quotation macam tu, there and then. So tak boleh nak delay and delay. Selagi you ada idea and creative and you bounce ideas off your colleagues, lagi best idea tu. Nanti campaign you lagi hebat. Good job. Good job. Oh. And all that, whatever you do, minta discount. Be yeah. smart about it. Apa-apa orang nak bagi you quotation, that's just the first price. Always ask for lower. Okay. And ask for different quotation from different companies so yeah. you can you can um, compare. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yay, Raya. At the end of the day, a good job is what matters. You know, like you work, tak tidur ke, tak makan ke, brainstorm for the whole three months on the same thing. At the end of the day, you just want her to recognize. For her to tell my team good job, is memang like one of is a very good compliment lah. It's the motivation. Hey, this is Fatiha. 
Perry. Sup, Perry. Hey. Hey. Dia baru keluar tapi tengoklah mata dia dah beriak susah. Tapi she's so baik. Ni tu dia tak nangis tak apa. Hey, so cute. Selepas menambat hati peminat fesyen tempatan dengan jayanya, Vivi dan tim fesyen bela kini berhasrat untuk memintai peluang di Brunei. Mereka juga ke Indonesia untuk mengembangkan lagi prospek perniagaan fesyen bela di sana. Ayuh kita ke Bandar Seri Begawan dan kemudian ke Jakarta bersama mereka. Fashion Valley memang banyak customer saya Brunei. And for Raya, instead of diorang just beli online, whatever, kita nak pergi sana. So, we want to open a shop there. So, dekat Brunei tu ada satu mall yang the main mall. And it's called The Mall. Kita orang baru sampai di airport. Now, we're going to hop into a taxi and head to the first location, which is The Mall. So, we're very excited to see what The Mall looks like. So this is semua orang punya first time kat Brunei. Kita tak pernah pergi Brunei. Asyik cakap pasal Brunei tapi tak pernah pergi. I was quite excited to see Brunei macam mana, orang dia macam mana. So kita orang tak ada transport kat situ, kita ambil taksi. The taxi driver was so baik, dia borak kita orang semua. And then Tasha dengan Bakis naik taksi lain. Dari The Mall pergi ke Empire Hotel berapa lama? Uh, dalam 15 minit lah. Okay. Pakcik, kenapa dekat sini ada macam tulisan Jawi itu? Memang semua di sini baca Jawi ya? Jadi Jawi itu utama Brunei lah, utama. Oh ini mall, mall dia Pakcik? Ah ini adalah mall. Mall itu tutup, so everything tengah senyap lagi sekarang tengah tengah nak discover the mall, tengok apa fashion brands yang ada kat sini dan boleh tak fashion brand masuk kat sini. Sekejap lagi kita ada meeting dengan mall management. So, lepas meeting dekat The Mall tu, semua orang lapar. So, of course, kita pergi jauh-jauh makan kat Pizza Hut. So, uh, kita nak cepat. So, kita makan kat situ and then rush to the next meeting. Tapi, uh, kita kena split sebab dah kesutukan masa. So, saya pergi ke satu hotel dengan Fakzah dengan Iman. And then, Tasha dengan Balkis pergi hotel lain. Kita mahu nak cari hall untuk ada pop-up ke, untuk itu booth ke, tapi tengok saiz lah. Sebab ini besar. But before that, saya prep dia orang dan saya WhatsApp, okay, ni points yang you nak cakap. Um, this is how you negotiate and, and everything. Um, so they went. Sekarang lepas kita dah habis meeting, kita akan ke meeting lain seterusnya. Kita akan berjumpa Imai di Center Point. Walaupun uh, kita dekat Brunei, saya dengan Fakza sebenarnya ada satu meeting conference call dengan kita punya investors dari Jepun dengan uh, US. So kita orang mencari tempatlah mana nak buat call ni. So even though we're on a business trip, we still have to bertanggungjawab dengan investors. Kalau investor nak cakap masa tu, masa tu juga lah cari tempat nak bercakap dengan dia orang. Hello, Yoichiro. Yeah. Uh, is Hide gonna is Hide joining us as well? Uh, no. Okay, all right, sure. Good night, Lati. So kita orang are going to get them their coffee. Hopefully, pick them up a bit. There are some fans here who are waiting for Vivi. Sangat terujah lah nak jumpa Vivi di sini. Saya excited lah untuk Vivi. Oh, yeah. 
Bakis dengan Tasha pun dah habis reki tempat, Iman pun dah balik semua. So, we all dah berkumpul dekat outside my conference room tu. So, bila kita keluar conference room tu, okay, let's go to the airport everyone nak kejar flight. Lepas tu, Iman pula cakap B. Hi there, Assalamualaikum. I heard Bibi is in Brunei. Do you think it's possible if I could meet her personally? I don't want to sound like a stalker, which I think I am right now. Diorang tunggu I kat bawah hotel lobby tu, I tak, without my knowledge, you know, I I didn't expect it. And I rasa sangat terharu that they came all the way to to say hi. They just want to say hi. So, I thought it was so nice. The keys from the I want to We were just around the area and then we decided so to nervous. pass through. They were there. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm so shaking. I'm so shaking. I know Vivi from Instagram actually. And I always buy Tuxcap, right? And Vivi yang make Tuxcap. We want Persian Ballet in Brunei! <laughs> of course, Evie nak buka cawangan dekat Brunei. That's why I want to do these pop-ups. That's how maybe I can reach out to my Bruneian customers as well. Pergi ke bandar mereka and showcase produk kita kat diorang face to face, you know, so diorang boleh touch and feel sebab kita ada kedai lagi. InsyaAllah, maybe one day, we can have a uh, kedai Evi di Brunei. Kata ni kita dah tahun lebih lah di sini dan challenge kami ialah to get customers. Don't don't like her hand jangan jangan like rest rest aja. Sekarang kita kat wardrobe section where the uh, dah steam ada uh, gosok baju tu untuk photo shoot di Malaysia kita ada dalam 300 lebih jenama from Malaysia. From Indonesia kita ada 120 lebih lah jenama Indonesia and growing. Uh, so dalam di Malaysia memang every day photo shoot dekat studio tapi kat Indonesia ni sebab tim baru so kita tengah nak figure out how often nak kena buat photo shoot. Saya datang Jakarta untuk tengok macam mana proses studio dekat sini. So that nanti bila balik Fashion Valley punya HQ nanti saya boleh adapt apa yang mereka buat dekat sini dengan dekat sana. Kita dah ada brand yang banyak. Um, itu strategi kita mula dengan brand dulu. So kita perkenalkan brand slowly slowly dalam Fashion Valley, get more Malaysian customers to know about Indonesia. So tujuan trip ni ialah untuk uh, jumpa different different shopping malls, uh, cakap dengan tim mereka and and alhamdulillah we saw banyak tempat lah. Tapi memang is challenging also. Sekarang saya dekat Grand Indonesia. Kita orang tengah cari uh, spot for Fashion Valley punya kedai dekat Jakarta. So this is one option. Uh, dan sekarang ni ada satu lagi multi label um, store dekat sini so kita nak tengok scout around lah macam mana orang buat penjualan dekat Jakarta lain tak dengan Malaysia or sama or you know um, so just looking around and like doing our research kat Jakarta Okay, so kalau nak expand ke negara lain ni memang kosnya banyak, kosnya tinggi. Jadi kita kena make sure tiap-tiap langkah yang kita buat tu is well researched and dah buat uh, homework, dah check, dah cakap dengan ramai orang jangan make mistake. Dari pagi awal pagi sampai ke lewat malam kita meeting 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 sebab nak make sure the day is 
Liverpool. Saya jumpa dalam enam ke tujuh brand. Brand pertama yang kita jumpa ialah Kamedia. Memang saya dah lama nak bekerjasama dengan mereka sebab saya memang rasa brand mereka tu baju tu memang cantik and Malaysians, Singaporeans all will love it. Tapi memang susah sikit nak deal dengan mereka sebab saya tak pernah jumpa face to face. Semua dari email, dari website. Jadi tak berkesan. So saya kena datang sini, saya set meeting dengan dia orang, jumpa dia orang, um, biar mereka selesa dengan saya, saya selesa dengan mereka dan alhamdulillah mereka pun setuju nak join Fashion Valley. Lastly kita buat wrap up dengan team. So kita discuss apa yang kita rasa kena improve, apa yang tak bagus kita kena stop, apa yang boleh kita introducekan untuk improve lah the operation kat sini. Jadi kita barusan membicarakan tentang masalah untuk uh, operasional di Indonesia. When we try to fix it, kita akan berusaha meng, uh, mengimplikasikan semua sistem yang ada di Malaysia untuk bekerja secara paralel dengan di Indonesia. Jadi itu ntarnya akan mempercepat semua proses Fashion Valley di Indonesia untuk bekerja sama dengan Fashion Valley di Malaysia. Dengan itu kita bisa membuat semua customer di Malaysia juga lebih happy dan bukan di Malaysia aja, tapi di seluruh dunia. Saya rasa yang paling susah time business trip ni ialah tinggal family. Of course, memang sedih lah bila saya fikir, alamak, diorang mesti cari-cari mami kat mana, daddy kat mana. So, saya sekadar telefon, video call, tanya grandma diorang okey tak, diorang dah makan ke. That's the best you can do, I think, as a mom. Why do you look so sad? Daniel, smile for mommy. Daniel, sayang. Daniel, what's, Daniel, what's wrong? Are you okay? Are you okay, sayang? Do you miss mommy? Yes, mommy. We miss you. We come back tomorrow, okay, sayang? We go swimming, ya? It's not easy. So, saya memang, of course, saya fikir diorang. Kalau boleh, saya bawa diorang sini. Tapi memang, kalau bawa diorang sini, saya pula tak boleh kerja. So, dilema seorang ibu bekerja tu memang saya rasa semua ibu bekerja faham. Kita jumpa orang pun, kepala kita masih fikir anak. That's normal, I think, for every mom, kan? I want to go home. Be home tomorrow. Yeah. So, see them, play with them. Um, sedih itu memang sedih. Saya rasa I'm able to differentiate work, mom. Setiap kejayaan yang dikecapi, pastinya disulami pengorbanan. Sebagai seorang ibu yang bekerja, ada kalanya masa bersama keluarga terpaksa dikorbankan. Tapi saya percaya dengan niat yang betul, diiringi doa dan tawakal, pastinya membuahkan hasil. Semoga anak-anak memahami erti pengorbanan ini suatu hari nanti. Dedikasi yang diberikan oleh tim Fashion Valley juga menjadi pembakar semangat saya. Saya harus terus fokus, bersangka baik dan positif agar setiap pengorbanan tidak menjadi sia-sia. Love. Vivi.